Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you knew you, then my name is Nicola and I'm from South Wales. Um, I do lots of hauls like Tesco's, Iceland, home bargains, etc. Things like that. So if you like that kind of thing, then I hope you stick around and have a little look. And I've got lots of other videos um, that I've done too. Um, this is the first one now of... 2021 so happy new year to everybody i hope you enjoyed however you celebrated on new year's eve and into the new year um we just had our little what we do every year we just us and the children and just um yeah little do li little bits of party food and things like that and we play uno and monopoly and things like that um and just put some music on and we really really enjoyed it but I just, yeah, can't believe it's 2021 now. I mean, 2020 just seemed to whiz by, really, didn't it? In lots of ways. In other ways, it didn't. But, yeah, so hopefully this year is going to be a good year. I'm thinking positive and my glass is always half full. <laughs> and, yeah, so uh, have you got any New Year's resolutions? I'm just trying to I'm not say in dieting because I don't like actual like that word dieting um but just trying to eat a bit healthier and i've been on my exercise bike which is normally just sat in the corner um i've been on that yesterday a couple of times so i'm yeah just trying to do things like that go and walk in more and obviously you know however often we're allowed to do things like that but at the moment, we've had a bit of snow and things, so I'm just concentrating on the exercise bike and just trying to... I mean, i still got loads of chocolate, so I'm not going to give up chocolate. That is 100% not going to happen. <laughs> so, But I am going to try and cut down because I would like to, to lose some weight, but just be a bit fitter, really, and uh, feel more comfortable in my clothes, you know what I mean? But it's not a diet, because I don't like that word. But <laughs> if you've got any New Year's resolutions, or if you just, you know, think, nah, I'm not doing it, doing anything, then let me know in the comments below, because I'd love to know what everybody else has got planned. And yeah, other than that, it'd be nice to go away somewhere this year. You know, we're happy to go in the UK. Like, we've, like, done lots of caravan holidays before, so something like that. But other than that, yeah, just really positive about this year now. I think it's going to be a good year. So, I've had Tesco's delivered today now. It's Sunday the 3rd of January. Um, and I spent... Well, the delivery was only £2. I was lucky to get a slot. I went on the yesterday afternoon. Lucky to get a slot for today. And it was only £2. Um, and, yeah, I spent... Just under fifty pound. It was a couple of things that um wasn't available. I did order some sausages; they weren't available, and we were gonna do a, like a stew, um, and the the veg that I ordered for that wasn't available. But other than that, everything else was. So I show you now what I had. I had my usual four lots of the six pints of semi skimmed milk for you. And then I had two lots of the Elmley Double Cream because there's still some cakes that need uh, some cream to go with them. And then my daughter requested this juice. It's apple, peach, mango and passion fruit juice. That was £1.20 for that. And then for the stew that we're going to make, um, my husband was going to make it, is this diced beef. I had one of those. But I'm going to have to go and pick up some veg from somewhere, maybe tomorrow or Tuesday now. Um, so we can do that. And then another pack of the bacon, the uh, smoked back bacon. Then two lots of chicken breast fillet. So two of those. And then one of the beef uh, mince to do a bolognese one day. And the chicken is either going to go with jack of potatoes, which I've got for you. Bought three packs of these. Or it'll be like a dinner or to go with rice because I'm going to try and do a few healthier kind of meals if I can. But yeah, if you've got any ideas of any kind of healthy meals that you like, then yeah, please put them below because I need some more ideas really. 
Um, these jack potatoes are only 41p, so I've had three packs of those. There's four potatoes. They're not big, huge potatoes, but they're a, a decent size. So I do like to have tuna mayonnaise with jack potato or even just some like beans, and that's not a bad meal, really. Um, and then two packs of these imperfect potatoes. They were only 93p. And then... I did order the green grapes, but it doesn't matter. They sent these as a substitute. So I've had a pack of those, Sun Trail Farm grapes. They were really cheap. They're only just over a pound. Um, then I had some of the Tesco Sweet Easy Peelers. Um, okay. And then these Gala apples, the Tesco ones, were on the club card offer they're still doing. We're down to 79p. So I think they were almost half price, something like that. So that's really good if you haven't got a club card. I think a lot of people probably have the shopping Tesco's, but it doesn't cost anything to have one. And they are really, really good. Saved me so much money over the years, just going on day out, days out, on holidays and restaurants and loads of things. So if you haven't got one, I really would recommend just picking one up next time you're in Tesco's. I imagine, I mean, I've had mine for years, but I imagine if you just ask somebody there, that's how you get one anyway. But yeah, they've got a lot of these offers at the moment, which if you've got Tesco Club Card, everything is, a lot of things are a lot cheaper. So yeah, it's a good idea. And I had a pack of these braces, raspberry jam Welsh cakes. Um, They're really nice. And then a pack of these six crumpets. They were only... Something like 25p, really cheap for those. And then two lots of the braces, classic whole meal, the small little loaf. And one loaf of just the white Tesco bread. And two lots of these Neville's whole meal wraps. There's eight in a pack and they're only 65p. So they're a good healthy kind of put some chicken or something in one of those as a little snack. So... My son really likes using those. And then these bagels, New York Bakery, were down to a pound. I think that might have been on the Tesco Club Card offer as well. Uh, otherwise, I think they're like pound sixty something like that. But at the moment, they're a pound. Then some more spaghetti. Because uh, I think we're running out of that. And I'm going to do a bolognese with the minced beef I showed you. And then to go with the bolognese, then I've got two of these bolognese sauces and they're only 64p each and then i got three tins of beans just to stock up on those they're still only 23p each then a bisto onion gravy one pound 30 for that two of these spaghetti rings just to stock up a little bit they were 13p each then frozen things i got then i did have two bags of crushed ice but uh I put them away in the freezer because they melt pretty quick. And then I add a pack of these waffles. They're £1.20 for 12 of those. And then these chicken pies were on the club card offer then. They were £2 instead of £3. So, yeah, really liking those at the moment. But I know they're not the healthiest because they're pastry and everything. But, yeah, as I said, I'm not, I'm not like, giving up. Everything is a gradual thing, so, you know, I'm trying. <laughs> um, then I had one of these kitchen towels. And then last thing then, a big pack of this water, 24 pack. And that was £3 on the club card offer, normally £4. So I thought that was really, really good as well. Yeah, so I will start doing some meal plans as well. But... Uh, like this week mainly will be when I can get the stuff will be some some stew and then it will be spaghetti bolognese. It will be like a chicken dinner with some of the potatoes or chicken and jack of potatoes and yeah, things like that. And I still got quite a lot of food left in the freezer and a lots of bits and bobs. So yeah, like today now I'm gonna do a little dinner. Um roast potatoes and veg and sprouts and all things like that I still got so yeah so that is everything I had so not too bad really just under 50 pound um but that should last us 
for quite a bit now. Probably will do an Iceland delivery this week uh, again. And I probably will film that for you then if you'd like to see that, what I get from Iceland. Um, yeah, but I'm going to try and cut down as well. I mean, I don't spend loads and loads on shopping. I'm going to try and cut down as well and see how I can change my shopping a bit as well. Um, you probably notice there's no chocolate in this shopping at all, which is very unusual. But we don't need any chocolate in the house at the moment. So I'm not buying any and we don't need any biscuits. So, yeah, they're quite a, quite a good shop. This is really quite... You know, not overly healthy. I think some things will be better, but it's not bad. Apart from these, but uh, you haven't seen those. Pretend you haven't, anyway. So, <laughs> anyway. um, Yeah, so Happy New Year once again. I hope you're all healthy and well and all enjoyed how you celebrated everything. And, yeah, um, I've still got my tree up. When do you take yours down? I don't take mine down until... The 12th night which is the 6th of january i'm sure which is wednesday so even though i put my tree up on the 15th of november this year so i'm not exactly sticking to the rules of 12 nights before 12 nights after but i love it i would keep it up all year if i could and well yeah i might do if i <laughs> no i probably will take it down on wednesday but um yeah i just i just love christmas and i love all the decorations so yeah, but we do want to decorate and a couple of things. So I will be taking it down Wednesday. But when do you take yours down? Or have you took, taken it down already? Um, I've seen some people take it down. Somebody took it down on Christmas Day, i seen on uh, the internet. So I was like, oh my God, no way could I do that. But we're all different. Some people get fed up of it, don't they? But yeah, so anyway, I'm babbling on now. So <laughs> I will see you all very, very soon. And oh, hello to any new subscribers as well. I'm so grateful for you subscribing and liking and commenting and, and everything. Really, really am grateful. So hello to everybody and obviously new subscribers as well. And I hope you do come back again and I will see you all very, very soon. So take care. Bye.